My very first memory of philanthropic activity uh, really goes back to my father, uh, who was the executive director of the YMCA, and he every year had to raise money in order to ensure that any child that came through the door had an opportunity to participate in the various programs that they had. And so as a child, I understood being able to give back. Uh, my first memory was being a Brownie leader for the Institute of Logopedics in Wichita, which had multiple handicapped children. And these children had never camped, never never been really out of the facility. Um, so I actually set up a, a troop of them and then did what a normal brownie troop would do. It was really fulfilling. My first volunteer experiences were when I was a child playing the violin in retirement homes. I could see how much I was affecting these wonderful elderly people who were there listening to my music and they would be smiling, singing along, tapping on their wheelchair, and it really made me feel really good inside to know that I was helping these women and these men have a better day. Something that my church did with Habitat for Humanity. And I was probably about 11 years old, and I remember um, as, a, as a congregation, we were raising funds to help support um, some of the houses, and then we got to go out and do some work. And it was a really fun day, but it was also pretty impactful because I learned pretty early how important it was for volunteers to be able to come together and help other people in the community. We actually participated with a food ministry, a food pantry, and uh, my family, that's how we celebrate and enjoy um, all kinds of um, things that we're celebrating milestones, and so food was a big part of how we how we enjoyed each other and to think that there are people who don't have food, um, that was a significant um, turning event. In high school, I was a member of the Sivanets Club at Terry Parker and we volunteered at Happy Acres Ranch where we worked with children with disabilities and um, I think it was the first time that you know, I really learned that I think a volunteer gets more back from the experience than the person you're helping. My mom's idea of the way you change the world was to get involved in, in local politics. So she was always running a, a campaign or a caucus or a convention and I would follow behind her with the pamphlets and the leaflets and uh, the stuff she needed. There, were all, there was always a room to knock down or set up. There, was always, there were always things to stuff. My first philanthropic event happened very early on. I was a um, member of an inner city church in New Haven, Connecticut, which was a very poor city actually, uh, with a lot of people living on the streets. And we fed the homeless and uh, we gave out clothing. Uh, so I have early memories of being part of that. Um, serving food, uh, giving mittens and hats, and, and uh, that was just a, a part of my early life. When I was in my teens, and it was a garage sale and fundraiser for the Hubbard House um, Battered Women's Shelter, and um, all of us kind of gathered our goods and things that we thought people would want to buy, and um, I donated my bathing suit collection to, to the sale, and we raised uh, money for Hubbard House. It was a Wednesday night, the party was Saturday, and we came together and put on a Christmas party for the kids and for those families. That was incredible, and uh, it, was, it was tremendous. I come from a big family of community service-oriented people, and I don't know what my first memory would be because I think some families go outside and throw footballs, and my family did community service. Uh, I remember as a young child uh, hosting uh, parties in orphanages and going to soup kitchens and wrapping presents to send to um, people overseas. The person that had the most significant impact on my life was my mother. Uh, my mother was a nurse, and before I was born, she 
worked in various facilities. She worked at Barnes, she worked in Springfield, and as a small child, she did things with me. Uh, we did all kinds of projects together. Besides Jesus, who <laughs> clearly has had the most impact on my life, and still I hope will continue to impact my life, I would say that the, the person who is just a, another living member of my family is definitely my husband. The person who's had the most significant impact on me is my mother. Her heart and her desire to be engaged is phenomenal. She's kind to everyone, likes to bring a smile to people's face, and um, she's a giving, heartwarming soul, and I'm lucky to have had her for my mother. I think if I had to pick one, it would be my mom. My mom is a pastor and spent years and years being just a mom and then went back to divinity school when I was in college and from there had an extraordinary career as a community pastor and community servant to my parents. Um, I'm, I'm fortunate that I grew up um, with, with two parents who um, always spent a lot of time with me and my sister and really instilled from a very young age uh, the importance of family and community and, and volunteering. My grandmother, she raised me, took me in as an infant. She and my grandfather and really instilled all of the nurturing uh, that um, one could ask for. She inspired confidence. She inspired the belief that I could be anything I wanted. My mother has had the most significant impact on my life in influencing my pursuit of music and academics, but my grandmother has had the most positive impact in my life. She was the kindest and most caring person I've ever met. My husband Jim, when I think about it, he's my partner, my best friend, of course father to Emma, and uh, just really um, has had such, a, such an impact, obviously, on who I am today. I would have to say that my parents have had the most significant impact on my life. My father is, was a, a really strong uh, leader in his own right. And my mother is that English teacher, uh, administrator that has made sure that, of course, you have the ladylike tendencies, but at the same time, you always make sure that you present yourself in such a way that is always pleasing and professional. The person who's had the most significant impact on my life is um, my daughter, Alexa Corvidius. And um, I was an older mom when I had her, and the um, changes that she brought to my life, having been you know, strictly a career woman my whole life, um, are almost inexplicable.